Hi, welcome back. This is Excel Video 51. We're going to talk a little bit more about conditional formatting and icon sets today. Today my sample data is some kind of patient satisfaction survey. I'm looking at years. These could just as easily be months. But I've got 10 questions on a scale of 1 to 5, where 5 is good. I want to know how I did on these patient satisfaction surveys. And so we can print out, you know, 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, but it's kind of hard to see from year to year question 6 or question 2 or whatever. And conditional formatting can make this a lot easier to see. We're going to highlight the area, go to conditional formatting, go back to icon sets. And there are a couple of different ways we can do it. You know, these arrows going a little bit up, a little bit down, that's a start. Or sometimes these cell bars may be appropriate. I, I'm going to show you these quarters, they call them. So if we do that, now what we've got is the 5 is all the way filled in. A 1 is all the way empty. And then, you know, the way it works its way around is I've got three quarters filled in on for a four and half filled in on a three, down to one quarter for a two and nothing for one. And so that's helpful, but this is a place where I think it's even more helpful if you go to manage rules, and this is the only rule that's there, so we'll edit it. I'm just going to show the icon. And if one was high and five was low, we could reverse it this way, but I just want to show the icon. And let's click OK. And look how little space that takes up. If we highlight these three columns and double click in here, we can easily get these little icons to show, hey, a question 10. Again, the data is random. It's going to keep moving as we go through this. We did really well in question 10 all three years. And, the, you know, it's, and it's easy to spot the 2008 question 7, 2009 um, question 3 didn't work for us. And it's easy to spot those problems. If you want to customize it further, I'm going to highlight this one more time. Go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, Edit the Rule for the Current Selection. If we drag this up so you can see it a little better, here's the Show Icon Only button. But what it will let you do is it will say, show me the full icon when the value is 80%, 3 quarters when it's 60%. And you could customize that. If your data is not evenly distributed and you wanted to somehow play with, hey, you know, I only want to see the black one, I get a 90% score or whatever. It's easy to customize these percentages. We're going to spend more time on what number formula and percentile mean as well. But these uh, are completely customizable to decide um, where you where the break is between um, full and three-quarter and half and all that stuff. You click OK, and we'll click OK, and there's the rule. Um, quickly, uh, formatting these things. So if you put them in a dashboard or you want a lot of information on one page, sometimes just showing the icon is a good way to save space but still powerfully convey the data you're looking for. Stay tuned next time. At the bottom of each of these sections, there's highlight cells. See where it says more rules, more rules, more rules. We're going to walk through these more rules, these new formatting rules, and walk through these examples starting in Excel video 52. Thanks for watching.